Hello again our most valued student my name is confident welcome again to part 2 of our inequalities and if you missed the first lesson I will encourage you to go through the first lesson where I lay some important foundations when it comes to inequalities and how you solve them and again this is for those who are doing their grade 11 and grade 12 and also guys remember to subscribe to the channel remember to share and also ensure that the notification bell is turned on also get more resources on our website if you need more assistance with your math remember to leave us your comments because these are very 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 important now look at this guys i'm given here some inequalities and the question says i need to solve for x and how do i solve for x in this scenario now there are many ways i can solve for x but the quick one that i always recommend is whenever you're given a power two always the fallback method is go through the quadratic equation so that you don't have some issues so the first part is when i see a square i go through the quadratic equation meaning i need to come up with my two answers so now let us quickly look at um the quadratic equation to say x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a now remember this is my a my b there is a one and my c is minus three so i'm not going to go through this i assume you know which is minus one plus or minus square root of one squared minus four a is two my c is negative three and then it's all over two and my a is a two guys i encourage you if you don't know the quadratic equation you definitely need uh to gain more practice on that so let's look at this uh if i can input to say minus uh bracket one and then we're saying we start with the positive one remember you need to come up with two answers square root of one squared minus four my a is two and my c is negative three seeing that all over two and and the other one there is a two so this is what i have so if i say equal to the first answer is a one so x is equal to one and put a negative the other one is x is equal to minus three over two so x is equal to one or x is equal to negative three over two so this is what i have as my answers uh just to put them to say my first value and my second value and we call these the critical values i'll call them cv so these are the critical values that i managed to get for the x values but you need to know how these are interpreted into a number line so part of the working will need you to come up with a number line so this is the number line and in the number line you are going to have the first value remember the number line has got the negative and the positive this sign is negative and after it's positive on my right hand side the number line increases and decreases like that so we have minus 3 over 2 there we have got a positive there and i said when you have a negative and a positive there is obviously a zero in between somewhere there so i need to test my uh, value so that i can see where is the positive where is the negative and where is the positive remember there can be a positive there a negative and a negative or there can be a negative there a positive and a positive but the question is which is which i need to do what is called testing of values so let's start with zero so if i come to my original here and where there is x squared i put zero squared where there is that x i put zero i need to take note of the sign so let me substitute to say two bracket um zero squared plus one bracket zero minus three you can see that i'm getting a negative three don't worry with the number just focus on the sign so i'm getting a negative so here i'll put a negative now another thing that i forgot to tell students is the first thing here that we're supposed to do let me just uh, erase here the first thing that you're supposed to do here is whenever they give you uh, that question forget about the inequality 
but you put an equal sign so it's 2x squared plus x minus 3 is equal to 0 this allows you to find your critical values don't use that sign when you're solving for that x always uh, solve for x as if this was an equal sign remember that guys okay so that is that part because sometimes uh, uh, you assume things and find that students are confused where is the sign forget about the sign solve x get the critical values now after i've tested i'm going to look for a number on this direction any number let's say minus three and then look for a number after uh, we will try um let's say five any number so let's start with minus three meaning where this x is minus three remember to put brackets is minus three squared where there is that bracket minus three later we're going to try five so that we can see the signs the important thing is the signs so i've got two bracket negative three squared plus bracket negative three and then minus three look at the sign i'm getting a positive 12 but the sign is the important one 12 there is positive let me play back we said we will now try five as a positive and then try five and i'm getting again a positive so which means when i'm in here it's a positive in here it's a positive and i told you it's either positive negative positive or negative positive negative choose any number it will do that now getting that is the most important thing because from here you are able now to interpret to say the positive mean something is greater that's what positive mean let me use um, my white mark positive mean it's greater negative mean is less positive mean is greater when i go to my question you can see that i've got that greater and if i link it it is linked to that part and if i link it it is linked to that part i'm matching this sign is appearing in the f uh, is appearing in those two regions look at the signs and you can see the match now i can write my answer and in this case my answer as i said you start with x whenever it's on the outside region you start with x here again on the other side you start with x there are two answers you're gonna get from remember it's on this region this direction and that direction so you start with x there is your sign that is your sign meaning x is less than because this direction is the lesser it's getting less and less it's getting more negative and more negative meaning it's getting less and less so x is less than the critical value which is negative 3 over 2 even on the other side here this direction is getting bigger and more positive meaning is greater so x is greater than the critical value which is one so this is how you write your two answers i hope this guys makes sense but i'm going to give you another example again in the next lesson remember to tune in remember to subscribe so that you can get a notification when i post this video we've come to the end of our lesson thank you